Hello and welcome. Uh, this is uh, Srini Kalakoti from Stock Mountain Solutions and I'm the product development lead here. Uh, today I would like to demo the, the stock, uh, the RSEO buying summary uh, tool that SO has developed to meet most of its uh, customer requirements. Um, so for those who are wondering what is the buying summary report, uh, if you're a stock admin, for sure you'll be knowing, but um, so this this report is, uh, uh, is is a report that would help the management to plan whether or not in future a particular employee needs to be granted any grants or restricted stock units. So the report, uh, as you would see uh, very soon, will have details about the the uh, the, share, the share shares vested and vested and what is outstanding and in the near future. For the next five years, so on an yearly breakdown, how many shares would be vesting? So, and it also calculate the gain, and you would be getting all these details. So, within within the report, so the value that we have added uh, here is uh, that uh, we have included the RSUs along with the non quals and ISOs. So this could be like one snapshot for an employee that you can get all the details in like how many an employee is, how many shares an employee uh, is, uh, is going to have like say in the near future for the next five years, how is it going to invest and what is this game going to be and other details. So let, let me take you to the demo and then we'll see what the tool really does here. Thank you. Okay, so here's the tool that I just talked about. Um, so let's talk about the data first. So the data uh, can be extracted from your current equity system. So the following data that we would require to generate the the planning summary reports for both um, non qual ISOs and those RSUs are um, the 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 personal summary report, the stock planning summary report, and the Expense allocation recognition report. The way this works is um, we you can actually generate the the data uh, or the reports in your equity system and then export it to a CSV file. And this tool will we can configure the tool to actually import the data into the into the tool and then manipulate the data and display the report for you. So. Right now, the way you, you look at it, actually, the system can will actually prompt you to select the CSV file. So it's designed to connect or grab the CSV files, but we can actually configure it in such a way that if you have uh, an access database or anywhere that you, you actually import your report data, we can actually connect it to that uh, access database and we can directly pull the data into the store. So let me start the uh, let me start the the loading of the data here. So when I start it, it says that okay, please select the person summary data file to load. So wherever you have the data is available, or wherever in your network drive or in your personal um, hard drive or anywhere that the report is right now existing, it can actually grab the data from that. So it goes select, it opens up, and then mm -hmm. right now it's there in my desktop. So I'm just grabbing the the desktop here and then open it so it loads after it loads it asked me to load the option spanning summary data because we include both options as well as RSUs into this so click on it I am going to select the option spanning report then it's asked me to extend allocation recognition audit data to load it. So I'm just going to click there and select that. And you see the data gets loaded. So you'll also see how fast the system works. The data that we have selected has, is like pretty huge. It's about 70 to 80,000 rows of data that we have here. But still, the system process is pretty fast. So you can see that um, you can see that while the report is getting generated. So other item that I want to talk about is if you see as of date here, so that is the the as of date whenever your planning summary has been run as of what date. So I have some historical data here, so that's where it's showing it's 2007. So the planning summary has been run as of that date. So you are free to change this date and run as of whatever date you want. 
and then the input fair market value is again defaulted to what is there in the planning summary so that you will actually see what exactly your system or whatever report you have run matches to what this tool is actually running or generating for RSUs also here. And the number of periods so far we have max max to five periods. You can either change it to two or anything less than five you can always change it. So right now I'm going to keep it as five. So uh, yeah you can change it however how was I mean whichever year you want to generate it for. So now let me click on generate the report. So based on these parameters the, the report is going to get generated. So once the report is open I can talk a few um, little I mean few items on the report itself. So now I'm clicking to generate the report. So the report generates it takes about 10 to 12 seconds just to make sure we are absorbing all the huge data. It's waiting. And at the end, when the report is generated, it says, okay, the report generation complete. So that tells you that, okay. And it also opens up the data in um, Excel format, so that's easy for anybody to read and understand or even generate the file or print out, take a print out or save it on your hard disk. So here's the, here's the report. So if you see here, we have the, the base value that was there in the tool. The number of years we have generated for, then we have the personal summary like as of date, what uh, as of what date the report was run, and here's the planning summary as of what date it was run. So here's the various data fields that we consider, and if you see here, the it has the ID, the names, basically it's like the employee name, and this is the account ID. So this is important. Like this is specific. Whatever is highlighting, I'm highlighting is what is specific to an employee. So then you have various option numbers here, the dates, the types. So if you see here, there's a combination of ISOs and RSUs. So I even have RSUs here. So that is the combination of both. And then it shows how many shares are outstanding, what's the price, and then how many are vested, how many are unvested. And as of 2007, from 12, 31, 2007, every year, up to five years, you'll see how many shares are going to get vested in the near future. So it also calculates what is the value that's going to be and what is the gain calculated based on the fair market value that's been uh, that's that as of this date. So we have considered a base value of 15.65. So I believe this this what it calculates the gain based on that and what has been your actual option price that was actually at the time of grant. So this is the whole report. Now here, if you see, it actually it can um, it it groups the whole data for every employee. So if you have a specific employee that you want to look at it, you can actually find that employee and then you can see all the details are, are displayed for that employee. And if, you know, also like if you want to make this a short report and you have just like say your board of directors or somebody that you want to run the report for, you can run the source data reports. That is reports from the source data, you can run only for a specific set of people or for a class and then you can actually generate the, the data, the data gets exported or you, know, you can export the data into a CSV file or however, whichever format you want and then we can import that and then this report will show only the, the data only for those employees. So this is, this is the RSU planning summary report and if you go here, if you see that the report complete um, the, this is pops up and it says, okay, that says that okay, the report has been successfully generated. And also, like when you're clicking the data, when you actually um, load it in, say, incorrect formats or or say incorrect order. Now, if you have, if you have observed that we loaded three sets of data files, so if you load it in an incorrect form or say order, the tool recognizes that and says that data load failed. Please try again. So once you're done with that, if you want to clear up all the data in the tool, you can just click on clear, click to clear the data, it just clears all the data, and then if you click on close, click to close, it's going to just close your tool itself. So so if you have any questions, if you want to know more about the tool, feel free to contact us at sales at sos-team.com, and we'll be very happy to give you more details about this tool.
thank you for your time and uh, had a great time demoing this tool to you guys today so have a great day bye bye